What's up guys? So I was recently invited by Ed from TechSource to participate in his popular desk tour series, Setup Wars, where folks send in pictures of their sexy desk setups and people vote on which battle station they feel kicks the most ass. In fact, the latest episode featuring my personal setup is now live on TechSource, so go ahead and cruise over there when you get a moment to see how I stack up against the competition. Also go ahead and subscribe to Ed's channel while you're there if you want to see some crazy PC builds and a plethora of other cool tech videos that he produces on the reg. It's good stuff. So now that I'm an official special guest on Setup Wars, I figured I'd give you guys a dedicated setup tour of my main desk area. I did give you guys an office tour when I first settled into my place about a year ago, but my setup has undergone some changes since then. So starting off with the desks themselves, my primary desk that holds all my peripherals is this room essential storage desk that I picked up at Target a few years ago for a measly $85. It's not the fanciest, but it's well sized for my room, looks halfway decent, and gets the job done. By the way, the MacBook came included, but I left it at the store because of all the issues that came included with the MacBook. My other desk is this Parsons model that I recently got at Big Lots for 100 bucks. For years I had been using this cheap folding table to hold up my desktop. That is, until I built a new thousand pound computer named Hotline. At that point I figured it'd be best not to use a table that's advertised as being collapsible. So I pulled the trigger on this big guy for an overall cleaner appearance and peace of mind. Atop my primary desk are two 27 inch monitors, a QX2710 2560x1440 IPS panel from Qnix, and an Asus VG278HE 144Hz TN display at 1920x1080. When it comes to gaming and video editing, both of these displays have served me quite well for the last few years, but I'll admit my new Nvidia powered gaming PC has me itching for some G-Sync panels so badly that I've begun applying copious amounts of hydrocortisone. Rectally. Above my Asus monitor is the tried and true Logitech C920 webcam for streaming and video chatting. My weapons of choice are the Logitech G500 gaming mouse which has been going strong since 2011 and Corsair's K70 RGB with Cherry MX red switches. This board is definitely one of today's top choices if you're trying to glam up the theme for your desk area. And as you can see I've done just that with a simple two-tone fade that matches my desktop wallpaper. Fancy. Naturally, for any good setup, you also need a hardcore oversized mouse pad. After all, we're computer geeks, not bros, and mouse pads are the second best thing to pick up trucks when it comes to overcompensating. So here we have my Aorus Thunder P3, which as you can see boasts quite an impressive length. Compensated. For sound, I use a pair of DT880 Pros from Bayer Dynamic that I hang on a hook behind my desktop, more so for mise-en-scene in my videos than actual practicality. These pillow soft open back cans sound awesome and are absolutely fantastic for pretty much everything. When it's time to game with the homies, I pair these cans with my Antlion Mod Mic 4.0, which I stick behind my monitor when not in use. When I'm not using headphones, these Bose Companion 2 speakers deliver the sound with some hefty bass in true Bose fashion. If I have one gripe about my current setup though, it's that my main desk isn't wide enough to fit the left speaker, forcing me to place it on this lowly container unit. This abhorrent arrangement has brought shame and dishonor to my family for many moons. Moving on to the right side of the desk area is my Wonder Wall of Boxes, a modern marvel that common folk refer to as trash. This modest collection of retail packaging serves the purpose of adding some flair to the background of my videos and quite frankly, further enabling my box hoarding obsession. On the end of the desk I have my DSLR cine lenses from Rokinon at 24, 35, and 85 millimeters that I use to shoot the vast majority of my videos. You're looking through my 35 millimeter lens right now. They feature a declicked aperture at a 1.5 f-stop which make them superb in low light and easily one of the best investments I've made for the channel to date. Although the prop eyeglasses I bought for nature tech aren't far behind. And of course, what's a good setup without a fancy pants tricked out computer? Rocking a 5960X and two GTX 980Ti's in SLI, my custom water-cooled gaming PC hotline is as powerful as she is pretty. Four weeks after its completion, it has finally made its way to my primary desk space, replacing my old but still very capable 5820K rig. When I began planning the aesthetic blueprint for Hotline back in June, it didn't occur to me that it would later determine the overall theme of my desk area, but after finding a matching wallpaper and keyboard effect, this RGB LED kit from IKEA was the missing piece to the puzzle to make my setup truly pop. 
The kit comes with four rigid LED strips with the necessary mounting hardware and a remote control that allows you to fade between colors or select your own. A very nice accessory that I found through Ed and his videos on TechSource. So thank you, Ed, for exposing the LED accent whore that I am. Don't look at me! But that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this here video, guys, so be sure to subscribe to TechSource so you can keep up with all of Ed's outstanding tech content. As always, I'm Kyle with Awesome Sauce Network. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see y'all in the next video.